Hello YouTube friends, this is my review for Bioshock Infinite. This was my first ever Bioshock game. When it first originally came out on Xbox, I believe 360. And I had a blast with it back then. I also had a blast with it on PC as well. I completed it in one day when it first came out because it was that good of a game. I have played a little bit of the first Bioshock game. Not all of it. And I might try that one again. I didn't really care for it though. Just a heads up. But this game, it was fun. I loved it. I think I was looking for see like um motion blur because I was having that issue I believe. That's why I'm doing the whole camera thing. That's the only yeah. I only do that for motion blur. Or for other reasons. But I think it was mostly motion blur. But I recommend this game. If you've not played it. It is honestly it's fun. It may not be the Bioshock you might that you all enjoy if you're an old Bioshock fan, and that's fine. But since this was my first, oh, I know why. Yeah, I was yeah for this right here. It was not motion blur. It was for this thing. I, I finally got that fixed later on, in a different video, well, different you know session. It was one of the game settings. I remember now. It was for that. Yeah. It was one of the option settings for the game that was causing that. Because that is a weird issue. I don't think it was ray tracing. No, it wasn't. Not back then. <clears throat> but as I was saying, for the old fogies who played the original Bioshock 1 and 2, this game may not be for you, and I agree on that part. I did play a little bit of the first Bioshock, and there's a big difference. Holy cow, there's a big difference. So I can agree with with that, but I still recommend it. I really do. Even for new players of Bioshock, I recommend this game. It is great. It is fun. The story is excellent. The ending, holy crap, the ending, what in the fudge. Wow, the ending. <laughs> it throws you for a loop, that's all I want to say. I would rate this at a nine and a half. Honestly, I mean, it's an older game. It, I would rate it at a 10 if I didn't have the light bug that you're seeing. But it was an option setting, so it's, you know, not really the game's fault. It was a setting fault that I didn't know about until later on. So that's mostly why it's 9.5. But... I still, like I said, I recommend it. It is fun. On the reason why I'm doing the whole zooming out thing is because um, controller gets auto aim for heads. It's wonderful. So I recommend playing on controller for headshots the whole time. Because auto aim. Even though auto aim is like turned off or there's no option for it in the game settings at all, you still get auto aim for the heads. It's wonderful. It's stupid. And that might be another reason why people do, didn't really care for it. Because of the auto aim. Which I can agree with. As I'm playing more PC games with auto aim turned off, I'm getting used to not having it. Because I don't remember that it's there. Whereas with, with console, it's just there innately. It's like built in to the game for console. But with PC games, it's not there. 
<coughs> where this one has it built in for console controls. And I love that. Because it made the game stupidly easy. But anyways, this has been my review for Bioshock Infinite. And I hope you guys <coughs> excuse me, enjoyed the video as much as you know, or the game as much as I did. And I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful day.